Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. Original Lady Eve Elements to Roll LLC. Welcome to the Garden of Eve. You can find me on Twitter and all social media platforms. Okay, if you get someone reaching out to you using my profile or anything, it's not fucking me, right? I do use Gmail. I do use Twitter. I do use Instagram. I do use Facebook. But I'm going to tell you one thing. If someone's coming to you forthright asking for money i'm a better reader come read me or telling you something about fucking whatsapp i don't do whatsapp i don't do telegram all right use your discernment when it comes to these fucking scammers we're going to get into this financial spread for january 2022 for the collective all right if you would like me to do a reading on amika harris i posted it in the community board maybe some of you can't get to the community board so I'll say it here in this video. If you would like me to do an entire reading, love, work, money, life, if this person is still pissed off at Chris Brown, and I'm talking about Amika Harris, if you want me to do a full-on fucking reading on Amika Harris, right down to the baby, right down to if she used witchcraft to have a baby by Chris Brown, or if she used witchcraft to whatever with her life, because she does that... um. She reads the books on 12 laws of universe, universal laws, some shit like that. And all of this Namiyo Harenge Kyo shit, right? Energy is everything. If you want me to see into or do a peek into for you, so you get to know the real truth about what's going on behind the fucking scenes, you want me to throw them tarot cards? I want to see 1,000 likes. Slice that like button. I want to see 1,000 likes. Okay, if you want to know about, um, who was I seeing? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. If you want to see me do one on, if Chris Brown is still fucking Nia Guzman behind closed doors, behind the scenes, but nobody knows because you know, people are sneaky. Nowadays, they keep everything on the hush hush, but them spirits see everything through the veil. If you want me to give you a full on reading if Chris Brown is still having sex with his first baby mama royalty's mother, Nia Guzman, behind the scenes, I want to see 10,000 likes. 10,000 likes, y'all. I'm not playing with this shit. I want to see 10,000 likes. You want to see that reading? I want to see 10,000 likes on the topic of fucking... If you want to know if Chris Brown is still fucking Nia Guzman behind the scenes, yo, slice that like button, hit that like button. Now let's get into a 255 on the clock. Let's get into the financial spread <clears throat> for the collective January 2022. So it's 1,000 likes for Amika Harris. What's going on with her? How she feel about Chris? Did she use witchcraft on Chris Brown to get pregnant? All that shit. Sneaky shit. My cards. Uh, I got the... Um, got the nosy cards well i'm tell you so i'm peek right up in that bitch and tell you quick excuse my language y'all three three two on the clock i'm gonna peek right in i got sorry if you see me tilt my head i'm reading the messages at an angle okay <laughs> you want me to see that like yeah you can go to other readers and get that reading but honey i'm gonna give you the scoop like wendy williams but tarot i'm gonna give you the tarot scoop okay Full on explanation, details, names. Okay, what I see. I ain't no psychic medium for for no reason. Okay. Many call, few chosen. We're gonna get into it. I use the tarot cards along with my abilities, honey. I don't just use tarot. I'm doing it for the fans out there. Y'all fans. Y'all fans. I do anything for my, my public. Okay, I'm here to help y'all. Okay, we about to be nosy. <laughs> but I can also get back into teaching y'all some things as well. Uh, I'm still in the process though, so bear with me. I'm still in the process of fixing everything up. And getting things set up. So, What's going on in the financial realm for the collective? Oh, 
Holy Spirit, what do you see for January 2022 for the collective? Are y'all playing a lot of? Some of y'all hitting the jackpot. So go play them scratch off tickets in the month of January 2022. Someone or a couple of you, I'm here in group. So a group of y'all are going to be feeling quite lucky. Where have you felt maybe your doors are closed to finances and luck? You're about to hit the jackpot. Okay. Again, others of you need to go out there and play the lotto. If you haven't played the lotto before, now's your chance to start. Start with the scratch-offs and work your way up. Anything else? Okay. See, I hear. Some of you are going to run into a rich, wealthy man. This person may help you with your business, your financing. You may actually date this person in the long run be engaged after that get married whatever this rich wealthy man is to you some of you may have felt that you hit the jackpot meeting up with this rich wealthy mature man not listening to money songs is in the reverse some of you could be manifesting through money song like cardi b's money not being creative staying poor broke some of you need to get creative because i see here not being creative and you're staying poor and broke because you're not using your creative ability your creative skills you you need to get out there and go meditate connect with source get some downloads on some ideas that you need in order to make money happen for you you need to open up several avenues of money for you if you got to go out there and have a side hustle and that side hustle is going to work for you go and do it okay again i said some of you need to play the lottery now is the perfect time to play games of chance. Streak of good luck and fortune. Okay. Receiving a reward or bonus check is in a reverse. So if you are due a reward or a bonus check for the holidays for working overtime, your boss is being stingy, not giving it to you. All right. If you were waiting on a check or something included in your work, you're not getting it. Your boss is being stingy. Go up there and ask your boss why you're not receiving. I mean, communication is key to life. Communication is key to life. It's key to everything. If you can't communicate how you feel towards someone, no one's going to actually read your fucking mind. So you need to ask why you're not receiving your bonus this year for Christmas or the New Year's or Thanksgiving holiday, whatever. Okay. Money is delayed or blocked. All right. I'm getting it. Um energy of it being temporarily blocked so we're gonna look give me one second i thought i actually <laughs> we're gonna see why your money is delayed or blocked spirit why is the collective money delayed or blocked this could be money dealing with contracts finances banking system cryptocurrency nfts 401ks, 501, if that's anything, I don't know. Government grants. Hell, it could be even, you know what I'm saying? It could be even your EVT paperwork. Why is it delayed? Because some of you may be receiving public assistance and you're not getting the money you need for your children. You want to find out, hello, why is my shit blocked? Why? Why? Okay, so let's let's look at this first. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Okay, so we gonna look at this shit. Money is delayed and or blocked. Give me some cards for the collective for January 2022. Money is delayed and or blocked. Why is this money delayed and or blocked? What is delaying, blocking, stopping, or hindering this money from coming to the collective Holy Spirit? Why is this money delayed and or blocked? We got the moon card here. Something is unforeseen. Some sort of deception could be playing out. We don't know. Let's find out what the next card is. But the moon is all about waiting for the time of revealing. Divine timing. Six of cups. Something about the past. Hmm. 
I'm used to lady they're blonde. It could be someone from the past, a cancer you were dealing with. For most of y'all, they ain't resonate with anybody. That this cancer is doing some sort of spell work to delay your money. You see that popped. <laughs> I can't do that. Okay, look. <laughs> Judgment. This person's being judged, or this person feels that they're judging you. Like, how are they making that amount of money? They don't need to make that amount of money. You see my double D's? Lord have mercy. These double D's make me look bigger than what I actually am. Unbelievable. You go on my Instagram, look at me wearing black pyramid clothing. Okay, look. Page of Cups, someone's being very fucking childish. And I'm telling you, it's cancer. You're dealing with cups, Page of Cups, and you got the moon. Definitely cancer. Water sign here is trying to delay or block your finances. Again, this is someone from your past. They may be sun, moon, rising. I'm hearing Venus, and I'm hearing Mercury, North Node, Mars, and Cancer. This individual Cancerian placements... I'm hearing, but definitely this person has a moon in cancer. Definitely, definitely, whoever has a moon placement in cancer. This person from your past collective, this is the person that's doing the spell work because the moon card represents hexes and voodoo spells done at night under the full moon. Okay, this person is working at night under the full moon under the water element using water, marable magic, okay, and mirror magic to try to slow... The process of you getting your money. Remember, so they're doing jar spells. They're putting shit in a jar with your name or photo of yours they got off the internet. And they're doing that to block your fucking finances. What else does the collective need to know about money is blocked? Okay. Yeah, but they're getting caught with this judgment card being shown. They're being caught for their childish behavior. Hmm. Now, they either be in court physically by someone seeing them do this shit. Because remember, spell work is supposed to be done where no one's eyes are on. If someone sees what you're fucking doing, your shit's broken. Okay. Um, or this is the universe. And for most of you out there, this person with their childish fucking ways is getting information that they're being judged by the universe for doing this. To you, their spirit guide is trying to trip them up. See a little rabbit with the red string. See the rabbit with the red string tied around this childish person's um, shoes or ankles, trying to bind them and tie them. This person tried to bind and tie you so where your money is slow moving in the water because they're holding a little cup in their hand, right? Walking towards the river. Mm, there's a river somewhere around y'all, most of y'all. Or this person's traveling far to go to the ocean, if not the river, to do some sort of water magic. It's a young individual, too. It could be a short, uh, a five-foot-tall female that cuts their hair, pixie-cut black hair. Or this is a five-feet male that they have a short haircut. Either way, this person was, like, looking at your situation with finances and trying to judge your situation. And they... And they and, past events that occurred with them they feel they're gonna do magic on you to try to stop block hinder and delay your money yep we got the hiring thing here this person could also have a tourist help them out or someone spiritual this spiritual practitioner is around their 20s they're very young very religious I'm getting Wiccan and Santeria with this card. Definitely Wiccan. Definitely Santeria. Definitely Wiccan. Nonetheless. This person is very young and they're very childish. They judge at the most inopportune times when they should not be judging. Okay. Tell me more about this money is blocked, delayed, and hindered. So some of you, yeah... You got a spiritual practitioner here who's a cancer. They have cancer and Taurus in their chart. So it could be a Taurus, sun, cancer, moon. Or it could be a 
cancer that paid someone to do this shit. Someone, though, has a spirit guide that's a Virgo. But ain't taking that shit lightly. Someone's seeking inner wisdom here with regards to the situation on what to do because their finances is blocked. Your spirit guide, your animal totem is this. A deer. I guess that's a deer. I forgot the other name to that one with the big long reindeer. I don't know. It's your animal, animal totem. If I was y'all, I'd get a picture, a painting, or a statue of that animal totem. Especially those with moon and Virgo. I'm hearing, if not Virgo, son. Tell me more. Mm hmm. Three of Wands. Spirits are waiting. Spirits are waiting. Someone use their intuition. Went outside the house at night. Hmm. What is this Three of Wands? Someone's no longer trapped in their head about this situation. Okay, but they're not sleeping at night either. Even though they're not thinking about the situation or trapped in their head about it. Um, Eight of Swords reverse with the Four of Swords reverse. No, nobody's in mental entrapment. But what they are is patiently waiting and thinking concerning a solution. Yeah, someone's holding back from saying anything. They're more in their head than anything. Just regarding their emotions and how they feel about this situation here. So it's like as if someone's holding your money back because they want to come in and make a love offer to you. But they're in their head of, at night about it. Like someone roams the streets at night thinking, thinking, thinking. Could be dealing with an air sign with these swords here. This is the person that did the magic on you. Could be an air sign. Could be a cancer. Who went to a Taurus practitioner. But definitely. Cancerian energy again. The chariot. You're going to be able to move or push forward. Self-discipline. Satisfaction. Success. Victory. Because you're going to take action to push forward. So now that you got this information. Who blocked you? All right. Or now that you know that your finances weren't moving because someone from your past went and blocked you. Now you know what to do. Right? Good. Let's look at the rich, wealthy man. Some of you feel you hit the jackpot. What is this jackpot? Hit the jackpot and rich, wealthy man for the collective. Knight of Pentacles is slow to move a night in the deck. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. That was it. Usually this person moves slow, but I see this person is going to move fast coming towards you. So this rich, wealthy man is coming fast towards you, collective. Whoever this is, to you. Some of you don't even know this person. This could be dealing with a Gemini, King of Swords here. Or it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But to me, the King of Swords is Gemini. Queen of Swords is Aquarius. The Knight of Pentacles. It's like that Virgo, Taurus energy for me. Capricorn, nonetheless. But who are, this person has air and earth in their chart. This person is coming quickly towards you. But be mindful, collective. Even though you're going to feel like you hit the jackpot with this individual. Because they are a hard worker. This person can be cold-hearted. Towards you. They speak their truth. They stand in their truth. This person doesn't lie and they don't accept liars as well. But be mindful also because I see backstabbing betrayal here. Putting ten swords to the back. Or this person coming towards you that works hard. This person's been backstabbed and betrayed. And they're ending an ending came. Or they put an end into a situation to come towards you. Tell me about hit the jackpot. Rich, wealthy man. Wealthy man. 
Rich, Wealthy, Mature Men. Hit the jackpot for the collective for January 2022. Four Swords Reverse. Yeah, this person is in their heads a lot. Heavy, heavy fucking air. Heavy air for the collective. This person is in their head a lot about past events that occurred with 10 different people, multitude of people that have betrayed and backstabbed this individual. This person has a lot of issues with them, a lot of issues, a lot of drama, a lot of trouble coming with them. Page of Wands. They're very mature. They're not immature. This person keeps certain things to themselves. They're not going to come to you and be like, hey, this has happened to me. I had like 10 people dog me out, including family members. They're not the type to do that. They keep this shit on the down low. They keep it to themselves. Tell me about hit the jackpot and rich, wealthy, mature man for the collective. This is um, when it comes to sharing his feelings. This person is very introverted. So just be mindful you're not out to use this individual. Okay. There's that devil energy, Capricorn energy here. This person may not even tell you that they were with a Capricorn at one point in time, that they had toxic people around them. They had addictions, toxic ways. They're not going to tell you that they were a toxic person. They put an ending to that because the Ten of Swords is crowning the devil card. They put an ending to that. Okay, but they're a little bit in their head. Also, this person's head was worked on. Some sort of ritual was done. Some sort of head working ritual was done to the King of Swords. From a younger fire sign that was a Sagittarius. That caused this person a lot of drama and a lot of problems. This person, this Sagittarian energy, male or fem feminine or masculine energy. That did this head working over this Gemini individual. They caused this person to make the wrong choices. Make the wrong decisions to cause a lot of problems. Six of Swords reverse. Six of Swords, Ten of Swords, Four of Swords. See what I'm saying? Devil card. This is black magic. Be mindful that this person also is not coming towards you with this trickery. Trying to play on your mindset and play mind games. This air signs is all about mind games here. Tell me about this hit the jackpot. Rich, wealthy, mature man for the collective. Eight of Swords. For some of you, this person could be coming out of jail, a mental in prison. They could have been. They could be bound. <laughs> I heard bounding gag. Not like that. Hold on. <laughs> Bounded to. I'm wearing my head wrap. So if you don't see my hair, my hair is wrapped up. Okay, so there's a lot of problems coming that this person is not going to tell you about, and the problems is that this person has a lot of addictions, and that this person got out of jail. For some of you, this may not resonate with all of you. Okay. Take it how it resonates, flip it in, and uh, reverse it. Or reverse the roles. So, yeah, you have someone coming at you that may have got, just gotten out of jail. Or they have a previous arrest record. Yep, you're dealing with a Taurus. You got two men on the board, collective. One's been backstabbed before, this Gemini. It's been backstabbed before, and this Taurus. Two new people I'm hearing, this Taurus. Who has Capricorn in their chart. Okay, this Taurus person keeps a lot of shit hidden that they were in problems before. That's the Taurus person with that King of Coins. But the Gemini individual has been backstabbed before in the past. So they're not going to tell you that. This person's going to come towards you. Very. This person may seem cold-hearted, but they're very giving with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. That's someone gives someone money. Right? But be mindful, this person's been backstabbed before. They're still in their head about the past that, or recent past of some of these people that they used to hang out with that backstabbed them. Right? But then you have someone... I was going to say, someone headed towards you with issues. Six of Swords reverse, okay? Six of Swords usually is going away, relocating, right? But that's not the case here. And someone's not talking about their issues of addictions here, okay? This could be a past person with most of you out there that's dealing with a Taurus that's locked up, okay? 
Others of you, this Taurus could be the friend to the Gemini that was locked up. And they were dealing, the Taurus and the Gemini were dealing with each other on a friendly basis. And the Taurus was locked up or could just recently got locked up from backstabbing the Gemini. Okay, so... Some of you, like I said, are listening to money songs to manifest your money, but your money wasn't coming because you had that Cancerian energy placing black magic over your finances. But I already told you, you already know what to do. Okay. Um, if they're blocking you, get a blockbuster candle. It comes red. It don't come no other fucking color. Don't let nobody fool you or pull the wool over your eyes. Get the blockbuster candle, the blockbuster oil. And this candle is one of those big candles. It's a seven-day candle, but it's a candle that comes out of the jar. Flip it and reverse it. Take the wick out. Flip it and reverse it. Rub that candle with the blockbuster oil, right? Write your petition on that candle. I want to remove all blocks from my finances or whatever area in my life. Sign it with your name at the bottom of that petition. and uh, uh, Sign your name, damn it. Write your petition on a candle. Then you're going to write whatever you wrote on a candle on paper. When you write that same petition on paper, you sign it at the bottom. Put it at the bottom of the candle, right? Make sure you roll that candle in cascarilla. It's powdered white eggshell. Ask your local spiritual supply shop about cascarilla. You're going to roll that. You're going to put the paper under it. And you're going to put it near the front door or front entrance where you live at. Because everything, all your money comes through that door. Put it near the front fucking door and burn it. Don't do no reversal. Break the blocks. Break the chain. Break the blocks. Break the chain. Okay? Not being creative. Staying poor and broke. You're not being creative because your finances are being blocked. Hello? You already know what I told you to do. Get that blockbuster candle. All right? Why is the collective not being creative? Ooh. Motherfucker. Anyway, why is the cre collective not being creative real quick? Because of things that occurred in the past, something you're being very nostalgic about. You too much within and not without. Moon cards, something you're trying to figure out that uh, you feel is being very deceptive here. Yeah, something you feel wasn't worth working on. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Mm-hmm. Three of Cups had to do a lot with a friendship, possibly, or a third party. Either way, you're not being creative because you're in some sort of depressive state is what I'm getting. You need to come out of that depressive state. You're not willing to work on yourself because something occurred with a third party or something occurred where you're no longer friends with an individual. That's okay. Find some new fucking friends. Play the lottery. I'm hearing spirits say all four weeks of January, like once a week, play a scratch off. Play some numbers. 379, 417. Play those numbers. Receiving a reward bonus check is in a reverse. You all know why. Why is the collective not receiving a reward or a bonus check? One card, please. I close out this reading. What's the reason? You don't need to worry about what the reason is. Ten of Wands reversed. <laughs> Why the collective not receiving a bonus? Like I said, your opportunities for finances is closed. Hello, someone's being sneaky here. Seven of Swords. Trying to manipulate a situation concerning working on... Oh, someone's being sneaky at work. It's three people. Nine of Swords reverse trying to get over and hold on to something. Someone's trying to get over and hold on to something at work. Okay? Trying to side swipe you from getting a bonus. Making them look good and you look bad. With that being said, hit that thumbs up bell notification. Confirmation of the bell. Ding dong.